Warren Buffett is undeniably one of the greatest investors of all time, amassing billions of dollars through his simple long-term investing strategies. Starting from just $7,000 per share, Berkshire Hathaway Class A stock has gone up thousands of percents, making it $343,000 per share. This makes it easily the most expensive stock on the New York Stock Exchange. In this video, I'm going to take a look at which stocks Warren Buffett is buying in 2020. And given his investment philosophy, we're going to go through his thought process on each of these stocks. We're also going to take a look at which stocks Warren Buffett is selling. And with that being said, let's get started. The first stock on this list is Occidental Petroleum. He recently bought 11.5 million shares, increasing Berkshire's holdings by more than 150%. Following Buffett's investment philosophy, Occidental Petroleum has a very simple business model. This is a company that is engaged in hydrocarbon exploration as well as petrochemical manufacturing in the United States, Canada, and Chile. But you can forget all that confusing vocabulary, all the complexion. All we have to know is that this is a company that explores for oil and gas. After obtaining this oil and gas, then they develop this oil and gas and sell it to the mainstream. This is a very simple business model and Warren Buffett knows that. And now it makes sense why Warren Buffett is buying this stock. The stock is already down 36% in one year. This gives the stock incredible value, but most importantly, a very high dividend. Now it's important to understand that when a stock price goes down and the dividend stays the same, the dividend yield of the stock will increase because now that dividend is worth more of the stock price. As a result, although the dividend for Occidental Petroleum didn't increase that much over the past few years, because the stock price went down, now the dividend yield is insanely high. Along with this, Warren Buffett is also a very renowned value investor, and Occidental Petroleum provides incredible value. You're probably wondering, how is this incredible value if the PE is so high? With the Ford PE at 55 and trailing PE of 30. This lowered EPS is primarily due to Occidental's fantastic sales growth. They aren't going to earn as much money in the next few years, but we have to understand that the company's management is more focused on sales growth. However, a huge concern for Occidental Petroleum is a fear of political change in the U.S. Concerns over global warming and the potential for a significant shift in U.S. energy policy leaves lots of fear for President Trump not winning the re-election in November and therefore a huge shift in U.S. energy policy by the new Democrat president. Now I don't want to get political because this is an investment channel, but based on which side will win the next election, this will determine the fate for Occidental Petroleum. This is a massive risk in the short term, but over the long term, as we know Warren Buffett is a long term investor, we do know that Warren Buffett does believe in the company for the long term. The second position that Warren Buffett is increasing heavily in 2020 is Restoration Hardware. Restoration Hardware operates around 110 retail and outlet stores across US and Canada and essentially what they do at these stores is sell home furniture through a subscription plan. This subscription plan is called the RH Members Plan which costs an annual fee of $100 allowing you to utilize their services. This is a strange business model we haven't seen before and the reason why it's been so successful for RH is because the plan incentivizes customers to buy more furniture than they want to. This is because customers believe that they are saving money by buying furniture from RH because they already have the RH members plan. However, the reality is that they're actually losing a lot of money by buying RH's furniture, but this is part of the scheme of RH. Despite the stock price already increasing 177% from its 52 week low, the valuation ratios for RH make it look fairly valued. Their trailing PE sits at 29 right now, and their forward PE sits at 17. Along with that, they have a price to sales ratio of 1.7, which is relatively low when you consider that the stock price has gone up so much. The largest growth opportunity for RH is the RH International launch in 2021 and 2022. This is something the management calls their largest growth opportunity and as a result sales are expected to increase 7% year over year in 2020 and 2021. Buffett increases firm's ownership in RH by 41% or 500,000 shares. Berkshire Class B is now RH's fifth largest shareholder with 9.1% of the shares outstanding. The third stock on this list is Suncor Energy. Buffett initiated this position in the fourth quarter of 2018, but since then he's added to his stake by 40%, making it 
making the value of his stake at $492 million. Suncor is a rare international play by Buffett, as Suncor is primarily based in Canada. Suncor has a 4.24% dividend yield with a payout ratio of 50%, but the main reason for Warren Buffett to invest in Suncor is because of its low value. Suncor currently has a trailing P of 13 and a 4P of 15, and this is primarily due to a decrease in sales growth, as in 2019 their sales decreased by 1.2%, despite having its sales growth increase 16% in 2018. Suncor specializes in the production of synthetic crude from oil sands. This synthetic crude is used as a synthetic fuel, which is meant to substitute for oil and natural gas manufactured from coal or from biological waste. These substitutes are mainly used for combustion engines. The fourth stock Warren Buffett is buying is General Motors. This is a company he's already exposed to by a huge amount, with already 75 million shares and a value of $2.7 billion. However, recently he's been increasing his stake in General Motors. One of the reasons why Warren Buffett is buying a huge amount of General Motors stock is because of its low value. Its trailing P sits at 7 and its 4P is 5. However, low value comes with negative effects. In 2020, General Motors is expected to grow 4.7% in revenue, but in 2021, it's actually expected to decrease 3%. One of the reasons behind this is GM's lack of evolution in the electric vehicles. This is a market with increasing market share. However, although GM does have some money invested into electric vehicles, it doesn't seem like they're invested enough in electric vehicles to actually become a competitor in this area. First, we have to understand who GM actually is. GM owns a wide variety of companies including Chevrolet, GMC, Buick, Cadillac, Fiat Chrysler, Daimler, and Pontiac. Similar to Kraft Heinz where when you buy the stock, you own a huge amount of companies that Kraft Heinz owns. When Warren Buffett invests into GM, he's actually investing into all these smaller car companies that make up one manufacturer. The fifth stock Warren Buffett is buying is Kroger. When Buffett first announced that he invested into Kroger, a lot of investors were really shocked. People thought Warren Buffett would rather invest in companies like Walmart, Amazon.com, and other large stores that are competing in the grocery segment. This begs the question, why did Warren Buffett choose Kroger over other grocery stores like Walmart? The biggest argument to be made here is Kroger's value. Kroger currently has a trailing PE of 15 and a 4P of 13, along with a price of sales of just 0.2. This is incredibly low. When we take a look at Walmart, their trailing PE sits at 22 and their 4P is at 21. Along with that, their price of sales is at 0.6. These valuations are much higher than a company like Kroger, so it's reasonable to say that Warren Buffett thinks Kroger is undervalued. Kroger is by no means a growth company. Their sales in 2020 is expected to grow 0.9% and in 2021 their sales is expected to grow 2.6% year over year. However, we have seen Warren Buffett buy a large amount of dividend stocks recently and Kroger is actually one of them. Kroger currently has a dividend yield of 2.15% with a payout ratio as low as 29%. This leaves lots of potential for Kroger's dividend to increase as time goes on. Their 5-year growth rate is currently at 12% and Kroger's dividend has seen 13 years of consecutive growth. Now that we have taken a look at the stocks Warren Buffett has been buying, let's switch sides and take a look at all the stocks that Warren Buffett has been selling in the past year. Warren Buffett has been selling a lot of his bank stocks as Berkshire does hold a varying number of bank stocks and he's selling a lot of these stocks including Bank of America and Bank of New York Mellon. But the two most notable banks that he's been cutting by a huge amount are Wells Fargo and Goldman Sachs. Warren Buffett actually sold 35% of his Goldman Sachs stock. This may be because Goldman Sachs is underperforming as the shares are down 13% over the past two years while the S&P 500 is up 22%. They're also currently in a scandal with the Malaysian Sovereign Wealth Fund that could result in a fine as much as $2 billion. We're still waiting for the negotiating settlements with the federal regulators, but this could be a massive fine for Goldman if the case does go in the wrong direction. As for Wells Fargo, Warren Buffett cut 15% of his stake in Wells Fargo. And over the past few years, Wells Fargo has also been dealing with the same issue as Goldman Sachs, attempting to recover from a series of scandals. And finally, Warren Buffett also sold a lot of Apple shares. He actually sold 3.6 million shares 
However, despite this reduction, Apple still accounts for 29% of Berkshire's portfolio as they still have 245 million shares remaining. So that wraps it up for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. Also, comment down below if you want more videos like this. And I hope to see you in another video.